this is handy when you need it, which is more often than you might think. So we're going to file this under, I didn't know you could do that and I didn't know I needed that. But once you do know about it, you're going to find it useful all the time. Stick around for a couple other tweaks that aren't going to deserve their own video that we'll put in here to help you out. So let's get to it. Now what we're covering today is something called refactoring. This is an idea that comes from the coding world, which is to take the code that exists and then make it more readable, make it easier to understand, make it more resilient without changing what it does. Um, if you are here for that, this isn't that. We are talking about Obsidian here and the, the detail of refactoring is when you have a note that has too much stuff in it, say you've got a daily note and you put a whole bunch of meeting notes in there and there's just too many separate things to live under one title, how do you get all that stuff out into their own notes? Well, for years, the way that I would do it is I would highlight it I would cut the text, I would open a new document, then I would paste it in, and that doesn't take too much time, but there is a way to do it even faster, and that's what I wanna show you now. So let's jump into the screen share. And as always, we are back into the YouTube demo vault. If you have any questions about how we got here, I've got hours of walkthroughs that show you what I did to make it look like this. Um, so here's an example. Um, let's make a daily note command D for daily. And this is the kind of leftover template that, that I've used for a while on this example vault. And say for the log, um, we can say we had a meeting. <laughs> I'm meeting. There we go. Meeting. And here are all the notes. And as always, I'm using a text expander with a meat based lorem ipsum <laughs> text, which is hilarious to me. If you have any questions about uh, what a text expander is or how it might be able to save you time, I have a video about that as well that I will link up. So say you've got the meeting and then you have a uh, novel idea and we'll put that in there as well but maybe not all of that we'll just get rid of this so novel idea meeting and something else goes here and we'll put that in and delete some of these all right so this is an example of your daily notes and your log for the day. That's why I, I usually like to call it the captain's log, whatever. And you've got this meeting information and you've got this novel and something else that the daily note is a great place to put it so that you don't have to think about it. You can just get to writing and capturing your ideas but you know that you are going to look for the meeting and you would rather have the title be the meeting title or whatever. And the novel idea, you would like that to be its own thing. So here's how I would do it previously, which doesn't take that much time. I would just highlight it, control X or command X to cut. Command N for new and type in novel idea, enter and paste it in with command V. Now that goes pretty quick. And if you aren't used to keyboard shortcuts, I would highly suggest that you, you check those out because without keyboard shortcuts, you're going to right click, cut, and then go to file new and it, it just takes a really long time. But there's an even faster way of doing this. And let's um, delete this file. And then that will take us back here. I'll paste it back in. And here, check this out. 
if we want this meeting note to go somewhere else, but we do want it to still connect to our daily note. Maybe we want to keep track of when this idea hit us. This will help out a lot. And you can bind a keyboard shortcut to this, but if you like the mouse and right clicking, this will be right up your alley because check this out, right click and then come down here and say extract current selection. This is what this does. You click that, it automatically sees that you've got an H1 heading of meeting. So it says, you know what? Let's just use that as the file name and then hit enter and it will automatically create a new file and then a link to it from the daily note that we are still in. So now if we hold down command and then click on it, it will open it in a new tab. And now you can see that you have a new file named meeting with the heading there and all the details that you had. So that's really cool to me how quickly you can do that. It saves you some typing because you've already typed it. It's already there. And now you can use that one little al alternate menu extract selection to create that new file, paste in the information, and you are good to go. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, there are some limitations to it that I've found. So if we go back here, the novel idea, as you can see, is an H2 heading. And this extraction doesn't always like two, three, four headings. It really only likes H1. So let's see if it'll do it with this. All right. So I'm, I was out of date. There we go. So it, it does work. Okay, cool. For some reason, I, I thought that it wouldn't do it with an H2 or an H3. But as we can see, it'll just take the heading, hit enter to create, and there you go. And now let's see what happens without a heading. We'll highlight this and then say extract current selection. And now it's saying, well, what do you want to name it or where do you want to put it? And then we'll say fancy new note here. And then you hit enter to create it. And voila, there it is. All right. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, now, one detail that I wanted to cover a little extra bonus is I hate seeing this H1 and the note title at the same time. The, the way that I've got it is I can see where it's living and the title here of the, the note lives up here. So I don't need it here. And I've got the H1 here. So one of these has to go. So you could get rid of the heading, but I do like the heading because I like to be able to fold things up like this. And so I want to get rid of this title, but this is the title of the note. It can't not have a name. So what do we do, right? We go down here to settings and then files and links. Oh, actually, general and appearance. There it is. Uh, should be in appearance. So now under appearance, under interface, show inline title, you can unselect that. And now let's look, I'm using version 1.5.3. So if you don't see this option, update to 1.5.3 and hopefully it will be right where we looked at it. So once we close that out, you can see the title of the document is not included in line with all of the text. You'll still see it up here at the top and you can rename this heading whatever you want, but you don't have the redundant file name uh, right up here. So there you go. That is how you 
can refactor a note and extract information, put it into a new file without having to do all the keyboard shortcuts that I showed you. So that's it. Let's get back to the outro. And there you have it. Hopefully this will come in handy more often than you think. And if you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, YouTube is not a mind reader, unlike me. It doesn't know what you like until you give that thumbs up. Or if you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel. And I also uh, leave it up to YouTube it does know what you like based on previous viewing. So I'm going to let it suggest which video of mine to show you next. It's probably going to be something about Obsidian. I guarantee it. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, if you can change your mind, you can change your life.